Shalom and good day all, this is to Healing 29 back again for another DC review and in this DC review I'll be covering Mark Wade's Batman Superman World's Finest issue 17 and Superboy Man of Tomorrow by Porter. I'll now get things organized for the one that will be reviewed first and then we'll be able to move on to the next one. So jumping in the first things first does this cover in any way shape or form connect to something that is happening inside with the story sure enough it does to which i give it an 8 out of 10 thank you mark wade i have been enjoying this and it was a good choice for the cover too so now it's time to move into the looking at the internal art around the beginning middle and end of the story and also what's happening story-wise So as the story begins, we have uh, New Amazo going up against the heroes. And of course, Batman is preparing for a backup plan. We also get to see the appearance of Supergirl and Martian Manhunter, plus a couple of other members of the heroes along the way. As we start to draw towards the middle of the story, we still get the heroes um, getting their butt kicked. <laughs> But until things start to change within the story. And moving towards the end, we get to see Metamorpho taking the one last punch against Numazo as the heroes finally win the battle. So for the internal art, I gave it an 8 out of 10. Now it's time to move in relation to the story. Uh, first things first, did we get any comic references to any of the previous issues or anything might, that might be referring to the beginning of this arc? Not at all. Uh, next is the area of time. Um, not applied in the story, though it probably wouldn't hurt to include it. Um, next is the location to which it took place of Metropolis. And the big cast of characters consisting of Batman, New Mazo, um, oh my goodness. We had Supergirl, um, Arrow, Martian Manhunter, Magnus, Wonder Woman, uh, Robin, Mr. Futurist, uh, Black Canary made an appearance. We had Plastic Man, the Green Lantern made an appearance shazam uh, red tornado superman flash metamorpho and last but not least jimmy olsen there were a whole big amount of characters too um in one particular page but i didn't know who most of them were i knew some of them but not all of them but it would have been nice to see um their titles on them um just so for new readers they know who they are but overall, I have really enjoyed this story, to which I give it an 8 out of 10. Now it's time to move into Superboy, Man of Tomorrow. So as we move into Superboy, Man of Tomorrow, by Porter, starting off with first things first, does this cover in any way, shape or form connect to something that is happening inside of the story? In some essence, yes, to which I give it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the internal art, which we'll have a look around the beginning, middle and end, and also what's happening story-wise. So as the story begins, we get to see Trav and Connor Kent, Superboy, going up against one of the Dominators uh, by the appearance of things, and there's a bit of a fight that takes place. We get a little bit more background as to what's happening in the story. And learning of some more of the new character, or learning uh, learning a little bit more about the Cosmeteers. And last but not least, towards the end, uh, Twitch, things have taken place, and yep, Superboy is pretty much 
<laughs> worn out and exhausted of the events that have taken place in this issue. So for the internal art, I give it a 7.5 as I actually quite enjoyed it and it is staying quite consistent. Uh, the next area is the rating of the story. So that consists of time to which later was used in the story. Uh, we had quite a number of locations take place, including a number of the locations that have taken place in some of the previous issues. Uh, we had Planet Zolgar uh, Zolgoria, uh, the Cedar, uh, the Cedar. Uh, we had the Fortress of Solitude. We had Dominator X Secret Lab, and last but not least, we had Planet Chalum. Or Chalum. Uh, we the key cast of characters that took place in this. We had Connor Kent. We had Trav. Uh, we had the Cosmeteers. We had a Green Lantern. Uh, by the name of Del Taro, uh, the, uh, Del Tava. We got to see Superman and also Kalex. For the overall story in this, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.